Question number one. Evaluate 2 over 7 plus 1 over 5. So first thing first, we have to find a common denominator. So we just do 7 times 5. Then we have to cross multiply. So 2 times 5 is 10 plus 1 times 7 is 7, which is 17 over 35. And that is your answer. Part B. Evaluate 2 over 5, multiply by 1, 1 over 5. So we first have to um, expand, break this down. So 1 times 5 is 5 plus 1 is 6. So 6 over 5. And then 2 times 6 is 12. And 5 times 5 is 25. And that is your answer, which is 12 is 12 over 25. Question number two, part A, write 17.5% as a fraction in its simplest form. So 17.5 is, so we do 17 times 2 is 34, 34 over plus 1, which will be 35. So 35 over 2% in its um, simplest form. So we have to simplify, that will become 200. Divide by 5, that will be 7. That will be 40. So 7 over 40. That's your answer. Okay, now moving on to uh, part B. Evaluate this operation. So we have to follow BOD mass. BOD mass. So we have to first do the brackets, which is 1 minus 0 0.4. That will be 0 0.6. And then we have to do multiplication first before addition. So we have to uh, do 4 times 0 0.6. So 6 plus 4 times 0 0.6. So 6 plus that will be 2.4 equal to 8.4. That is your answer. Question number 3. Y is directly proportional to the square of x. Given that y is equal to 8 when x is equal to 4, find y when x is equal to 3. So we have to use every information that we are provided with. The first line is y is directly proportional to the square of x. Square of x is x squared. So we are given that y is kx squared, which is directly proportional to x squared. Given that y is equal to 8, x equal to 4. So we have to find k. What is the value of k? So we replace y in the equation, so we get 8 is equal to k x square. So k is equal to 8 over 16, that will be 1 over 2. Right. So then now the equation is y is equal to half x square. So we have to find y when x equal to 3. So we have to replace x in the equation. So y equal to half, x is 3, square, which is 9 over 2. That is your answer. y is equal to 9 over 2. Question number 4. During one year, the mass of a child increased from 25 kg to 30 kg. Calculate the percentage increase in mass. So we first have to calculate the increase. So what is the increase? Increase is 30 minus 25, which is 5 kg. So now percentage increase. We have to take the increase, which is 5%, over the initial weight, which is 25, times 100. So that's 1, that's 4, which will be 20%. That's your answer. 20% increase in mass. Question number 5, part A. Factorize completely 15A plus 3AB. So what is common between those two numbers? So I can see that A is common, and then 15 is actually uh, 3 times 5, so 3 is common as well. So we take our 3a, what's remaining will be uh, 5 plus b. 
So that's your answer. Okay, part B. Factorize 6k minus xy plus 2kx minus 3y. So I see that we have k here and k here. So I'll write those two together. So 6k plus 2kx and then I will write plus well minus xy minus 3y so for these two what is common I know k is common and then 2 is common so what's remaining so 3 plus x plus so what is common here here we have y is common and minus is common so minus y so we'll have x plus 3 right so plus minus is minus so 2k 3 plus x minus y so x plus 3 so we can rewrite this down as so x plus 3 is also 3 plus x right so now we just have to see what's common between those two so 3 plus x is common and then we take this out what's remaining will be 2k minus y and that is your answer question number six we have f of x is equal to 3 over x plus 4 part a find f of 6 minus 6 on this fraction on this equation so we just have to replace x by minus 6 so f minus 6 will be 3 x will be minus 6 plus 4 will be 3 over minus 2 which will be minus 3 over 2 that's your answer okay part b we have to find the inverse of f of x so the first step we say let y equal to 3 over x plus 4 so now we have to make x the subject how do we do that so we cross multiply so we get y x plus 4 is equal to 3 so x y plus 4y equal to 3 so x y is equal to 3 minus 4 and then we have x equal to 3 minus 4y over y that's the equation so now we have to replace y by x that will be 3 minus 4x over x that is your answer for the inverse function number seven the value of each term of a sequence is four more than the value of the term before it it means that on term n and on term n minus 1 so if you have term minus 1 as a so n will be a plus 4 so every term it increases by 4 okay so now we have the third term is 17 the fourth term is 21 so let's write it down so 1 2 3 4 so that's the first term second term third term and fourth terms so third term is 17 the fourth term is 21 so what is the second term? So this is plus 4. To go this way, I have to minus 4. 17 minus 4 will be what? Will be 13. 13 minus 4 will be what? 9. So the first term is 9. Okay. So now moving on to part B. Find an expression for the nth term of this sequence. Give your answer in its simplest form. So what is the nth term for this sequence so we can see that we have first term as 9 second term as 13 third term as 17 fourth term as 21 moving on to n term so what is the n term every time we increase by 4 so the first term is is 9 so 9 that would that will be the first term plus so every time it increases by 4 we have to put 4 here and then we have to do n minus 1 so that's your uh, your, your expression 
for this um, sequence. So now we have to give you answer in the simplest form. We have to expand this. So 9 plus 4n minus 4, that will be 4n plus 5. That will be the answer, 4n plus 5.